Shalom, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Today is a seventh day. It's a day that we are supposed to be resting. It's a day that we're supposed to be getting closer to our Creator. Today, we're not supposed to be working. And, you know, there are blessings for keeping this day, and there are also curses for not. But that's not part of this topic. That's not what we're discussing here on this one, because this is still, we're going over Yah's laws, right? And this is going to be several commandments all into one. And in fact, <clears throat> this isn't just a new commandment. This is a rerun of our very first commandment. Because in Genesis 9-1, we come up on the next commandment. And for us that we're looking upon this, this is commandment number eight. So this is eight. And so let's take a look at this. And Elohim, actually, no, this is commandment number seven. So we already had that. So this is commandment number seven. Genesis 9, 1. And Elohim blessed Noah and his sons, and he said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. So we just got into three of our repeat commands that are actually repeated here in just a second again. So this is the sixth time that we've heard of these commands. <clears throat> we had one, two, and three in Genesis uh, 2 where we are supposed to um, do just this, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. So there's here's these commands right here. So this is seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to commandment number 10. Commandment 10 is nine, four. <clears throat> and this is very important because this is, we're early into Genesis and we're early into this entire thing. But we fall into this every single day because we will order medium rare steaks or medium steaks or there will be cooked stuff with blood in it, a little bit of blood. Nobody, nobody seems to care, right? But there's something very important here when we do this one. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. So you had commandment 7, 8, 9. This is commandment 10. Do not eat the blood. So... Here's commandment 11. Whosoever sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of Elohim made he man. So right here, it essentially says eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. This is blood for blood, right? Whosoever sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of Elohim made he man. So... This isn't exactly a straight command. This is more of what it should be like. But I believe it's a commandment. <clears throat> because if we shed man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. So we should. it should be a life for a life. And so we are on the 10th one right there. So that, that was what we have. 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 11. And there's 12. 13 and 14, because it's the same thing. Genesis 9, 7. And you be fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. So there's actually four commandments there. And you be fruitful. So we're supposed to be fruitful again. We've talked about being fruitful. Being fruitful is um, keeping our lives going, keeping what we're doing, not becoming a uh, stagnant rock. Right, we're supposed to be doing stuff in the labor of the kingdom. We're supposed to be always, constantly teaching people about the kingdom. So, are you being fruitful in teaching about the kingdom? Are you being fruitful in your life? Um, <clears throat> and then it says, and multiply. We're supposed to have kids, right? We continually leave our kids into the uh, the the arms of Moloch and kill them all all the time with abortions and things of that nature. And we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to be multiplying. And it says, bring forth abundantly in the earth. Again, we're supposed to. <laughs> have a we're supposed to have a lot of stuff a lot of kids uh, bring forth abundantly and multiply therein so this here up on takes us to into 11th commandment i will get this labeled and put up there but this is only to genesis 9 and we have 11 or so commandments so i'll get this labeled up hope you guys are good that is the next set of commandments have a good day